Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hi there everyone and welcome back to another lesson. In this video, we will be learning how to highlight checkboxes in Excel. In the previous lesson, we have already covered how to add and link checkboxes to certain cells. So let's jump in and see how can we do this highlighting. So the first thing is going to be selecting the cells which are having checkboxes. In this case, all of these checkboxes are unticked. So I'm going to go and color them red. If you want that every time you tick the box and the statement changes to true, the color of this certain cell should change to green. First of all, go to the cell where you want this changing to be applied, go to conditional formatting, new rule, and click on use a formula to determine which cells to format. Right over here, we're going to go, put our cursor, go to the option of false, and once the formula appears, put equals to true. Now go to format, fill, change the color to green, click on OK. This time, when I click on true, you're going to see that the color of the box changed. If I uncheck it, it's going to change to false again. This way, you can do the same changing to all of the rest of the cells so that whenever you check the cell, it becomes true, the color changes to green, and when you uncheck, all of the formatting is undone. If you want the same formatting for all of the cells, you will have to go to Conditional Formatting, Manage Rules, and over here, double-click on the formula. Once you double-click, we're going to remove this dollar sign which is behind six. The reason for doing this is so that every time the formula is applied, we don't have the same cell locked and the cell positioning keeps changing as you go down the column. We're going to click on OK. Over here, we're going to select all of those cells where we want the certain formula to be applied. Click on Apply. Go here. Select this worksheet and OK. Now, every time I check or uncheck a box, you're going to see that there is going to be the formatting happening separately. Thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there and click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.